Hi everybody, Deanne here with craftyone.blogspot.com and I am going to finish my Ustream project from Tuesday. Uh, I wasn't feeling well, there was a lot going on, so I didn't get to finish it. I had to leave early, so I'm going to do it all over and share it with you. But this is what we're making. It's a 12 by 12 layout. This is I made this for my mom for Mother's Day. And it has a shadow box attached. So this is what we're going to work on. I'm going to get started right away because I've already done this once and messed up. So <laughs> I'm running out of time. Um, the first thing you need, you're going to need a 12 by 12 piece of um, chipboard. Uh, the, the other piece, you can use another 12 by 12 piece. I'm using a piece of uh, whiteboard. It's a little thick. You can use cereal boxes for this. That'll all work. Um, you'll need an 8x6 piece, a 7x5 piece, two 5x1 pieces, and two 7x1 pieces. So we're going to get started with the top of the box, which is the 8x6 piece. And you're going to measure in one inch all the way around and draw a line. See that? Just draw a one inch border all the way around. And then you're going to cut it out with your X Acto knife, which I have already done because that's almost where I messed up. <laughs> so you'll end up with a frame like this. This piece is extra. And then you're going to take whatever designer paper. I'm using solid because my background piece is very decorative, it has a lot of detail to it. So what you're going to do, you need a 9 by 7 piece of cardstock or decorative paper. And you're going to line it up. See, it's nine inches. You go in half an inch. Let's get that lined up. So it's a half an inch by nine inches on the on one side. And what you're going to do is you're going to butt it up to the half inch and half. There should be a half inch on each side. So that gives you a half inch all the way around. And then you're going to trace the inside of the box. Oops, my pencil is working. Okay, take that away and set it aside. Now we're going to draw an X through the box we just traced. I'm working on the back of my paper, so <laughs> forgot to mention that. So I've got an X, and then we're going to measure in an inch from the box that we drew the lines. Let me show you. From this line, we're going to go in an inch all the way around. The reason we're doing that is because this is a rectangle and not a square, so it makes it a little an odd shape to cut out. So line that up. It'll look a little strange. If it looks wrong, it's okay. It's right, it's probably right. <laughs> okay. Now you can have something that looks like this. It'll probably show up better on my on this piece. So you have like this odd shape. That's what we're going to cut out. So we're going to take our exacto knife and we're going to cut out that shape. That well, it's a rectangle. So we're going to cut that out. Okay, take this out. Oops. Okay, come on. 
Ah, there we go. So you'll have a piece that looks like this now. Okay. So what we're going to do next is aye, aye, aye. we're going to cut from this corner to this corner, from corner to corner on all four sides. So we're going to do that now. Should have drank another cup of coffee before I started. I had to have blood work, so I haven't had coffee on in like 24 hours or something like that. It's crazy. The piece was a little off. I think it'll be all right. Okay. So that's that piece center and let's see the next part is we're going to glue this on next yes okay we need to cut away. Let's see, do I cut the whole inch? I can't remember. Oh, sugar. <laughs> uh, yes, it's going to be cut at an angle, the pieces. All right, let's go ahead and glue it into place. Uh, I'm going to use my adhesive, my ATG. So we're going to do the half inch again, the nine inch and half inch. So we make sure we get it on there nice and straight. Okay. And we're going to butt up the uh, our cardboard piece with the half inch and half inch. Okay, I think I need to switch to my smaller ruler now <laughs> for cutting corners. So that's that piece. And now we are going to fold this around and use my bone folder, which I dropped. Of course I did. Oh, there it is. Got it. Just going to give it a little score. And then we can go ahead and glue these pieces down. Oops. I don't know if it's because it's humid, but my ATG is acting really weird. Of course, it could be operator error. <laughs> it definitely could be operator error. checking my piece I have done to make sure I'm doing it right before I start cutting again. <laughs> okay, now we're going to cut, I'm going to use my scissors. 
I need to cut the corners out. Like this. Can you see that? So we're going to do that to all four sides. Should be good. I may have to cut a little bit more away. And then we're going to fold this over. Fold all your corners. Make sure it's nice and smooth so it has a nice finish on the front. This is really the cardstock I'm using. So <laughs> All right, well, mess that piece up. Let's see if I can fix it. That'll work. There we go. All right, so now you're going to have this. The problem is you're going to have this little piece here that's not covered. So before I glue down, I'm going to take that piece that I cut out of the center that was the little piece in the middle, and we're going to cut it into four piece, equal pieces. Well, as close as you can get. Cut in two. One's a little off, but it should be okay. You might want to fold it in half. <laughs> and then we're going to cut it at an angle from corner to corner. And these are going to be our fill-in pieces. Because you will be able to see it if somebody lifts it. So we're going to put that there. Just a don't need too much adhesive. There's probably a way to do this without cutting away, but I, you know, I can't figure it out. And if you can, please share it with everybody. That would be awesome. There we go. It's not going to be too noticeable, so it doesn't have to be perfect, but you don't want the white popping out like that. So now it'll all be covered. And we're just going to run a line of the ATG. Or glue. You can use glue, too. This is just faster, especially for video purposes. I'm going to seal this all off, and the top will be ready to be attached. We'll just have to make the bottom. Sorry if I'm shaky. Seriously, I need more coffee, guys. <laughs> oh, yeah. Okay, let me pull that piece over. All right, so there's our covered mat piece. It's the back. I don't know if you can see that. You're not going to see really see this, but you just didn't want the white or brown showing. Unless you're using the same color, you might be able to do that. <laughs> then you wouldn't have to cover it. Like maybe use a piece of black board or something like that. Okay, now we're going to set that piece aside. And we are going to work on the bottom. Let's get this out of the way. And that's where we're going to need... An 8x10 piece of paper, decorative paper or cardstock. I'm using brown cardstock. It's a nice heavy weight. Not too, too heavy, but it's pretty. So it's 8x10 is the size you need. And then you're going to put your ruler on the half inch mark and 10 inches. So let me get my clear ruler. 
See, this has got the half inch mark down here and these are one inch marks. Makes it easy. So, well, it's easy if you put it the right way so you can read it. <laughs> so you're gonna line it up at the half inch mark and 10 inches. And then you're gonna take your first seven by one piece and you're gonna to go to the one and a half inch mark. And you're gonna butt it up to it and glue it in place. I forgot to add my glue. So put some tape on the back or glue. You got a half inch in and it's 10 inches long. So at one and a half inches, one and a half, you'll put your first piece. You're gonna butt it right up to the ruler and set it in place and then you can follow from there everything will line up just right hopefully <laughs> I hope I did it right now you're gonna need a shim of the same the same paper you the same whatever you're using if it's the mat board or um, the cereal box you need a piece for the shim now you're gonna take your seven by five inch piece Put some glue on it. You can put more if you want. I think this is fine. And you're gonna put your shim in, line it up, and then line up your pieces. And press it in place. You can see that'll give you a nice, just the right size gap you need. We're gonna do that to all four sides, or the last three sides as well. I'm gonna go ahead and add my glue to all of them. Oops. Okay. up right press so we got so far now to the seven inch piece oops you guys can't see what I'm doing can you wind up one Okay, and then one more. Okay, so that's all together now. This is what you should have. This is the bottom of our box. And it's just like the shim is the same thickness of the board that you're using. And now we are going to cut. On each, on the five by one, two, the two five by one pieces, we are going to cut straight up to where the one by seven starts. Just one line straight up. We're going to do that on all four sides. Oops, I wish I knew where my other, my larger scissors were. <laughs> You can use your exacto knife too if you like. It's probably what I should have done. I'm shaking too much to use scissors. <laughs> okay, so now you have all four corners. This is what's going to hold your box together. These are going to be your, um, I'm not sure what you want to call them. <laughs> so the next thing to do is. Uh, You're going to fold them in to get a crease. 
because that is going to be the inside of your box. This will be the inside. Um, we're going to glue around here. First thing we need to do is taper all of our corners like that. Just a little taper. Can you see that? Taper, taper. And you know what? I'm going to go ahead and cut this too. Make it easier. So I've cut this even with the one inch piece. And then I'm just going to cut it at an angle. Like this. Oops. We're going to do that on all four sides. My neighbor's car alarm is going off. I'm not sure why. Last time I did a video, it was the fire department <laughs> alarm going off. <laughs> I'm going to cut this at an angle in this one. And then we're ready to put it together. Now you have this inch, half inch border that goes all the way around it. Let's see if I can get it all in. That is what's going to attach the top to the box bottom. So you just want to gently, you don't want to flatten it all the way, you just want to make it stick up like this. Let me get that angle for you. You can do that on all four sides. So you have something that looks like this. Kind of, it's not really showing up on my brown, is it? <laughs> Let me see here. So it should look like that. So the next thing you're going to do is you can add glue. I have to flatten it back out just a little bit. Add glue to the inside piece flaps. So on the inside part, facing up, I'm just using my ATG. I found it's easier to put all the glue on first. I learned the hard way on that. It's very hard to put the glue on once you started shaping the box. <laughs> Alright, so what you're going to do, you're going to pull your top up on two sides. And you're literally just going to wrap this around to form the box. I can get my finger out of the way. Just like that. See? And this will fold down and look like this. And that's your lip to glue on your top. Just kind of squeeze it together to get it to line up. Oops, a little bit more glue. We're going to cover this so uh, it's not going to show. And a little bit more glue right there. Hmm. Let's see if I can add a little bit of my liquid glue. Make sure you get all your edges when you glue your one inch strips on. Well, so it'll have a nice finish at the top. Be sturdy. Get my glue off of me now. And then we will have the bottom of the box. And this is the lip that I was telling you about. Let's see better. See the lip that goes all the way around. 
class, but we're going to glue our top there. But before we do that, we're going to cover all this white that's showing, not the bottom, because that's just going to be attached to the 12 by 12 layout. Unless you want to use it by itself, a standalone shadow box, then you can cover the bottom, so which would, that would also be nice. So I'm going to cover my sides with, I think I might try ribbon. Let's see. This might be, this could be wide enough here. No, it's going to show through. All right. I'm going to cut a one inch strip. I grab my ruler. Oh, I hope I don't run out of time. I'm going to have to do a second video, maybe three. <laughs> I really want to do the decorating with you guys. There's one. There's two. And it doesn't quite go all the way around, so I cut another one to have to fill in. So those are one inch strips. So what we're going to do is we're going to cut a piece off about um, three inches and glue that in place in the center on the five inch side. Just so it'll cover that. And now we're going to glue on oops, our other pieces. Should wrap around now. So I'm going to add some more adhesive. That. Just press it in place. It's alright if a little bit's showing. You're not. We're going to see up that high. I don't know. If people are looking at it like that and they're not crafters, then <laughs> they shouldn't be there. I'm going to butt it up to this, this other side that still has the white showing. Just line it up. And then I'm going to wrap that all the way around. And we are all covered. Of course, I got that last little bit too crooked. <laughs> there. Grease my corners. Just pinch them. And that is our box. So now we are going to glue on our top piece, if I can find it. Where'd you go? There you are. Like this. And that's what it's going to look like. Okay, so we'll just glue that on real quick. Um, For this, I'm going to use score tape, I think, because you're going to be messing with it when we're filling the box and everything, so it doesn't hurt. A little bit of score tape. Or you can use liquid glue, Scott's adhesive, quick dry adhesive. It's really good, too. It dries really fast. It's good stuff. Mm 
And we're going to peel that all off, hopefully. <laughs> My fingernail's growing back. It's a little easier to peel the paper off now. <laughs> so we're gonna put our top right side down and we're gonna, see I've got the, he's the glue on here. We're just gonna line up as best we can. Let's see. Press it down really good. And there's our box. One shadow box. So that's going to get attached to our cover. Or our 12 by 12 layout. And I'm running short on time, so... I am going to stop here and I will be back with the second part. Thanks for watching guys.